Hey everybody, welcome to continue watching. My name is Anton. This is Tangerine. I'm I'm Trey, and I'm fine with the accent. <laughs> Today we are watching Bullet Train, which is currently available on Netflix. So if you have a Netflix subscription, go ahead and watch it there. So we'll go ahead and start out with a description, Trey. Um this one says, five assassins aboard a swiftly moving bullet train find out that their missions have something in common. But I don't know about five assassins. It was like four assassins. And then I, just I think, one runner, pretty much. Yeah, just one of those things that's... Well, because you got the brothers, Tandre and Lemon. That's two. You got, La you got Ladybug. Mm-hmm. You got the Hornet. The one in the costume. And then that was the Hornet. Lobo. The one that was in the costume was Hornet. The Hornet. Yeah, yeah, Hornet. The one in the costume. And then you've got Lobo, which is five. He, even though he was kind of only in one scene. I was counting the girl, uh, Prince. Is her name? Well, it's listed. Tangerine and Joey Lemon, King. of course. Um, and then I was thinking the fourth one was Wolf, or the Hornet, not Wolf. Who knows? Hmm. Well, but uh, first reactions, though. What did you think? Uh, one of my favorite movies I watched that came out last year. Yeah, the, the it was really good. It was just so much fun. <laughs> I would have to agree. This was a fantastic movie. It was maybe, I would say, maybe a little long. At two hours and seven minutes. Yes. But really good. Like, action-packed and fun. With good characters, too. Except for Sandra Bullock. At least she would, yeah. yeah. At least she didn't play a huge part. It was supposed to be Lady Gaga's part. Oh, really? That would have been better. You think you prefer Lady Gaga over Sandra Bullock? I know what I said. Oh, no, I'm just confirming, and then I was going to follow up with why. <laughs> um, Because I think she could have made... That costume design choice look better. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, her hair was kind of bad, huh? Yeah, kind of. It was yeah. so bad. Well, I would think I think Brad Pitt's hair was kind of bad in this too. <laughs> he looks like Jeff Fisher from American Dad. He <laughs> is. He's Jeff Fisher from. No, he's Sam Fisher, baby. I got. What did you guys think about the twist? The twist part of the movie, or the twist ending? It's not really an ending, but. <laughs> where it turns out it was Ryan Reynolds who was supposed to be there, not Lady Bug. <laughs> oh, the twist <laughs> for me was that the White Death used to be in a sorority. <laughs> <laughs> Anton, are you familiar with Michael Shannon, the actor who played the White Death? Yes, I've seen and a couple of things with him. He did a thing for Funny or Die where there was a sorority. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, he was he... reading like the texts or something. Yeah, he reads the letter out that he just... Because he's the craziest looking dude. He's the craziest actor. He's got the craziest eyes. His, yeah, <laughs> the eyes that don't look at the same place. And they're always so wide. He just... He's crazy. He's just a crazy looking dude. It says Lady Gaga's in the cast. According to the trivia, she never made it on. Huh. This movie also got Aaron Taylor Johnson as the front runner for James Bond. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Good for him. I thought he did a pretty good job. They were good. They were good brothers. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen anything with uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson before. So you probably have seen Kick Ass, haven't you? I probably did not realize that he, that was him. <laughs> yeah, he's Kick Ass. You saw Tenet. He was. Oh, in Tenet. he is kick ass. Oh, dang. Yeah, he was in Tenet. He was Tenet. He was. The, he one was of the Tenet. Leaders. Yeah, he was one of the leaders of the Strike Force. Um, he was also in Kick Ass too, where he also played Kick Ass. Okay, I'm starting to recognize him a little bit more. In Tenet, he was the one that said, "Wow, it's you." He, oh, he Tenet. was. Quick, yeah, that's true. He was in Quicksilver. He was Quicksilver in the Marvel movies. Right. Right. Okay. Ooh. Well, there is yeah, like <laughs> there is one thing that I want to hurry and bring up right now because I've been really waiting 
to bring it up. Do you think she was isekai at the end? Oh, yeah. Bro, hopefully she goes to hell, because she's my only complaint with this movie, is I don't like her as an actress. Yeah, Joey King, King is... Either. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Joey King. I don't buy it. I don't buy her. The, I don't buy this character. I don't think she's a good actress. Plus, she's she just she looks like she's sixty. She looks like she's six. She looks like a tiny little lady, a little girl, a little baby. She's just a little lady. I know, just a little so lady. I liked one of my favorite things was staying alive. It was cool to hear in, in Japanese. Oh yeah, that was way cool. <laughs> Just, what a, it was fun. It was stylish. Cool little character interactions. It's had one of my... Um, a quote that I thought was funny. I didn't know it was from something else. Um, April had to pull it up because she was like, I know this is from something. Um, but it's the hurt people hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, Well, I don't think it's from, but in Arrested Development. What's his name? Tobias? Oh, feel okay? Yeah, he says that to the to the mom. She's like, wow, I really like that. Yeah, they had some really good lines. Like, the the script was well, well written. And just sh- quick little funny things. Like, when Ladybug is like, you don't remember who I am? And Tangerine's like, yeah. you look like every other white homeless guy I've ever seen. <laughs> you shot me. Shot a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You shot me twice. <laughs> I really liked how they played with that. He is. He says that he's super unlucky, and but they turn it around. That makes him very lucky. Mm-hmm. But um, he's catching all the bad luck for everyone else to have good luck. Yeah, <laughs> he's a ladybug. Yeah. He's catching all seven sorrows. Yeah. I don't want to catch all the sorrows. The, the, the guy fell out of the roof onto the car, but he made it to the hospital thanks to you. Yeah. <laughs> the funniest part of this movie, and I, I don't know, he should do this all the time. Why doesn't Channing Tatum have even more gay cameos? <laughs> Because they know that you, Trey, in particular, would just have an have an, uh, an overload. Yeah, of course. Because <laughs> you guys have seen this is the end, right? Yes. Are, are you familiar with the, the, the scene where he shows up? Uh, I, it's been a while since I've seen it, so I can't remember it. Tyler, are you familiar? I am familiar. Yeah, there's a part where Danny McBride gets kicked out of the group and he becomes a cannibal, meeting a gang of cannibals. Oh, right, I remember. And then, he yeah, he's like the dog the kick, and he's like, oh, yeah, like, I fuck this, it's like, I fuck this guy in the ass all the time, every day, nonstop. <laughs> By the way, look who it is, and it just, like, pulls the mask up and it's chatting. T- you guys like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. Did you guys have a favorite character? I really liked well everybody. I thought I thought Wolf was really funny. Yeah. I thought I liked how they gave him that whole backstory and then he immediately dies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't even say anything. He's all dressed up super cool. He walks in dead. <laughs> he shows up dead. I like uh, how he, he had a haircut as a kid and he just stuck with it. <laughs> It's tan- tangerine or I don't know lemon tangerine and ladybug are all so good. Yeah, I, I would say out of the everyone, I would choose uh, lemon. He was really funny. Thomas the Tank Engine dude. I like how he gave Logan Lerman's character. He's like you're a Percy because he played Percy Jackson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that. Fun fact also about this director. Who directed this film? He directed Deadpool 2, but originally he was a stuntman in Hollywood. Oh. Yep. And he Do played think... Brad, He was Brad Pitt's, Pitt's stuntman in Ocean's Eleven. It was the first time they worked together. Oh, nice. Yeah. A little fact. A little factoid. Do you think at that point he was like, dang, I'm going to direct a movie and you're going to star in it? And you're going to be like a sad weirdo. 
And Brad Pitt was like, like that'll ever happen. I have no hair. <laughs> I like how they do have that connection then between Ocean's Eleven. Because as far as uh, movies, like how they're written, Ocean's Eleven is like one of my top favorite movies. Um, and I think this one was just phenomenally written as well. Yeah, yeah. This, this seemed to always have me not guessing where it's going, but like just enjoying watching where it's going. This will sound a little cliche, but it felt, well, I'm with you, it felt like a roller coaster. Kind of like where it's kind of maybe a little predictable. You can see the tracks coming, but like the whole ride was enjoyable. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're able you can to see just, the tracks, but it's still fun. Yeah, you're able to just sit back and relax instead of pick at it and stuff. Yeah. Um. Ooh, a few more fun facts and trivia while we're talking about that. It took Ladybug twenty eight point four seconds to retrieve the anti venom, which is nuts. Timing. Also, why? Because he died. You die in thirty seconds. Oh. Also, I, like I was. Pretty, oh yeah, keep going. Oh, I, I was just pretty upset how the boom slang looked in the movie. Just like a normal snake. Yeah, because they look like I'll show you. They're like super bright green because they they live in banana trees, so they blend in with like the really mm-hmm. unripe bananas. They look like that. But, oh, the real trivia I wanted to tell you guys is that lemons and tangerines, the fruits, belong to the exact same genus, family, and Claudez as one another. This could mean that the characters of lemon and tangerine are, in fact, related by blood. Although rare, there have been multiple real-world accounts of mixed twins being born to interracial parents. I just thought that was kind of interesting. It could be. Nice. Yeah. I really liked when... He fought Hornet, and he stabbed her, too. And <laughs> yeah. then he took the... Uh... Right as she pulls it out. Yeah, and he's like, you don't have a backup? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you anything? Water? <laughs> She's crawling, just dying. The fact that he was a nice guy through and through really made the movie. Yeah. And the whole, like, <laughs> white death, you're like, ah, you... Right, Ryan Reynolds' character's name I can't remember. He goes, "What? No, he called in sick. <laughs> I'm just yeah. a pickup guy." Yeah, he's like, "I don't do assassinations. I just Carver. do drop offs and stuff. <laughs> Carver, I don't actually yeah. kill people." Well, and that's cool because they're there. I, I like a lot of the throw up, like the throw ups, the throwbacks. Is that I like the part where they're arguing over the the bulletproof vest. Uh huh. He's like, and then. Tangerine, or lemon, or which call it? Yeah, tangerine. Goes, yeah, well, because he goes, it gives you a false sense of security. You might get shot in the neck, which is funny because lemon or tangerine gets shot in the neck, and then tangerine, or then lemon survives getting shot because of the vest. <laughs> That's cool. You know, you can see him breathe in that scene. Like if yeah. you look, he's alive. Oh, yeah. And I get that Tangerine would be like, oh no, I'm just seeing with my eyes and like uh, just the scene and not really thinking beyond it that he's dead. But yeah, he was breathing the entire time. <laughs> just check. Yeah. And I like how <laughs> when he's po- near the end when he's pointing at um, Ladybug and he's like, you killed my brother. He's like, you point a finger at someone in blame. There are four pointing back at you. <laughs> <laughs> and then analogies. They're like, so wait, are we the fig tree? <laughs> it was a fun and witty movie. Anton, what was your favorite character? Or did you have one? Uh, I said mine was Lemon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Uh, I would say he was probably the my favorite, probably because of the actor. He played him really well. And um, he was the... Uh, I can never remember that actor's name. Because he was in Brian Tyree Henry. What was that show we watched? It was on Netflix. Uh, wasn't he in that? Where, where about the kid with horns? Horns? 
No, it wasn't called Horns. But oh, it was like- Horns with Daniel Radcliffe. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's a kid with horns. Oh, Bear, uh, Bear Tooth or something like that. Or God, what is it? Yeah. Oh, I guess Sweet it was Tooth. Good. Sweet Tooth. You sound a little, uh, little sus right now, Trey. Yeah, I guess he wasn't in that. Never mind. <laughs> Do you know what he is in that you guys should watch? Hmm. Atlanta. I probably won't, but I I've heard that. I want to give it another shot. I couldn't get into season one, but um, I just I think I just need to give it another go. I really I mean, like Godzilla, him and Godzilla versus Kong, even if I hated the storyline he was part of. I couldn't tell you a single actor in that movie. <laughs> well, he was he was the what's her name. The Stranger Things girl. Eleven. Millie Bobby Brown. Sure. Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Her, Bobby character. Brown. <laughs> Her character sucks, but he was like their part of it. Oh. I just remembered <laughs> the fighting of the monsters. Dude uh Dude really only started getting good. Or like getting into stuff in 2018. Okay, good. <laughs> Ryan Tyree Henry. Uh, he was also he's part of the uh, Marvel universe as well. Oh yeah, he was in what you call it that Eternals. Yeah, I Eternals guess. Eternals is said. not as bad as people say, but it wasn't that great. <laughs> I will tell you that almost none of the movies they have are great. Or do I like any of them? Especially nowadays, yes. Their their quality is gone downhill, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Hey, off the cuff, have you guys heard of a movie called Freaky? I think no. so. I mean, it's it sounds Freaky familiar, Friday. but... It, the premise is pretty similar to Freaky Friday. It stars Vince Vaughn. Oh, so, yes, yes, I have seen that, actually. Is it good? Uh, I would say it's worth a watch. Yeah, because I, I really like Vince Vaughn a lot, and I think that's an interesting... After watching Jack Black and Jumanji, like I want to see more middle-aged comedic actors play teenage girls. I think that's funny. It reminds me a lot of um, the one with Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider, Herbie <laughs> Dirt. Where he uh, trades places with a teenage girl. Doesn't he trade places with an animal, too? Well, in the animal, he gets hit, and then a vet saves him by filling him full of animal parts. Um, You're thinking of the hot chick, and she's, like, in her 20s. She's in her 20s now. (laughs) I'm reading through the quotes, and I forgot how much Ladybug is, like, really is just a nice guy trying to, like, stay out of people's way. (laughs) He is, though. I know. I like when he uh, he's fighting Tangerine. He's like, um, "Hey, can can you pay for this bowl, this water? <laughs> Give me my money that I guy to wear my hat and glasses." <laughs> <laughs> I so like. I, oh yeah, keep, let's let's hear it. Oh, just the, the hornet. She's like, you know, one little prick, and you. He poisoned you know what happens? And he goes, Yeah, I do. And she goes, This happens. And he goes, I said I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I liked the movie, but there were this just I think it would have been better. My let's put my little director's cap on. If they just kept it more realistic. Except talk- for maybe maybe the last scene. Like I don't know how you can I'm not going to sit here and think about how you can end the movie other than how they did it. Are you saying that the movie went off the rails? <laughs> so, well, that works. That's that works. Well, what, <laughs> what's that the, works more than one way. What's the unrealistic part that you're kind of like referring to? When Tangerine punches his way back into the train. <laughs> that's true. No, that's not <laughs> happening. That's true. And then he, he punches it, cracks it, and then headbutts it? Are you kidding? Yeah. But did you guys get my joke? Oh, I got the joke. That's why I am ready to be done did for you get, the day. Did you get it on both levels? Because not only is this a movie about a train, but also that train does indeed go off the rails towards the end. 
Yes, and the believability goes off the rails, as in it becomes unbelievable. Yeah, that's a mm. three. That's a three-part pun. Well, the thing is, that's a triple on time. Unless right? you're quick, you may not get it. Yep, I haven't seen you guys make any good jokes that complex. In the end, is that because it's a bullet train? Show. What? Anton? Oh, because it's quick. Oh, yeah. Well, shot in the dark here. <laughs> Maybe. E- for being called Ladybug, he sure was a man. <laughs> I thought Bullet Train ended with a bang. I thought Bullet Train ended with Joey King dead. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really glad she died. I'm glad she died the way she did. Watching the video they have it playing on IMDb, well, it makes it seem like a lot of this movie takes place not on the train. Yeah, a lot of the flashbacks and cut twos. Well, that's like all they're showing. Oh, Although, yeah. yeah. Tangerine and Lemon, their flashback scene was so cool. It was. Wait, when they were kids? No, when they were like wearing the, oh. uh, the ponchos. Because they didn't <laughs> want to ruin their suits as they, kill, as they rescue the sun. Yeah, you know? when they were counting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that one innocent man. Uh, you just reminded me of uh, <laughs> when Ladybug is pretending to be Lemon, and they're meeting that group of people, him and Tangerine, and he lifts a suitcase and he like spins the dial. <laughs> <laughs> it just opens up. and all the other like, oh, I was really trying to sell it. I, they were they were believing it. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. <laughs> yeah, it was... It's been a while since I've watched the movie I enjoyed this much. It's been a while since I've heard you talk this highly about anything besides... Or since Talentless Nana. Bro, you guys should watch Puss in Boots. <laughs> heard it's a masterpiece. Oh, it's really good. One of my favorite things I've started doing is I read the one-star reviews on movies that we watch on IMDb. Mm-hmm. And some of them are so funny. Because they're just so accurate. Well, it's like 1 out of 10, pill imitation of films it's derived from. If you enjoy Tarantino and Guy Ritchie films, then I suggest you rewatch those rather than wasting your time with this poor imitation. I haven't walked out of any film for 36 years, but this one was my second ever. But you didn't walk out of anything for 36 years, except for that one time you're not including. Why bring it up? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. High hopes dash and extreme violent blood. The trailer's no way exposed the level of slashing, spattering, and useless violence and gore. Where are all the Hollywood elites who are incensed at senseless mass murders? This movie could have been entertaining with 5% of the violence, but that would have required more talented writers. Hmm. What do they... Right? <laughs> what, what do you want? <laughs> this movie was just made as a huge selfie for Brad Pitt. And? I'm sorry, this, <laughs> this movie was made just a huge selfie for Brad Pitt. True. Isn't a lot of movies kind of like that, though? <laughs> Boring, long, and problematic. Ooh, Mr. Merca Domanuel. Spoilers. <laughs> After a many Americans dead. Only few discover everything was planning for two Japanese. Two Japanese guys who speak in philosophy way, providing American people don't like to think deeper. This movie is long. You will move in the sit thinking to leave before end. The Bad Bunny is representing a Mexican mariachi killer with the most predictable name as Wolf. On top, he roll is Mexican, introduced by Span Song instead of Mexican Song. The ugly Bad Bunny die in less than 12 minute in movie. Even the snake have superhero title in this movie. This movie is doomed. Only available to entertain people with blood test for blood and don't care for details. But my I favorite thing blood about, test for blood. My favorite thing about that is that 23 out of 60 people found this useful. Do you want to be the 24th? No, that means I have to sign into IMDb, which I won't do because it asks me to every time I get on it on my phone. <laughs> Maybe it's not fun to make fun of a dude who I, I, I think... I don't think that English was their first language, but like, 
That's a dumb reason to hate it, because Bad Bunny was only in it. But then he said Bad Bunny was ugly. I don't know. His name's Bad Bunny? I think that's the guy who played Wolf. Let me double yeah. check. Is he, I'm guessing, an artist? Like with a brush? He's a Puerto Rican rapper, singer, and occasional professional wrestler? Hell yeah. Dude. Hell yeah. I greatly enjoy professional wrestlers. Good for him, dude. Oh, that's sad. The girl who's set to play the new Little Mermaid, her shot, her picture on IMDb is not a good one. I feel like, I hope, because they can curate this, right? Like, actors can, can like, upload to their profile? There, uh, do, there are some levels to editing a entry in IMDb, so... I, mean, I don't photos. think any of her photos are that. Well, it's just when I'm seeing like top stars to watch in 2023. She's on there. No, like they're not that good. She just looks like the um her eye like she looks slightly wider apart than that uh Queen's Gambit girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anya Taylor Joy. That is, yeah, they're both kind of odd looking. Yeah. Now I can't unsee that. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. Trivia. Oh, yeah. So, actually, Aaron Taylor Johnson is kind of a cool cool story. Because he, he married a director named Sam Taylor Johnson. But her name was um, Sam Johnson. And his name was Aaron Taylor. And they got married and they hyphenated their names. But it's interesting because she's, like, way older than he is. I think she was a director on this film that he was in in 2009. She directed the first Fifty Shades of Grey, I think is probably what she's known best for. Oh, hell yeah. Looks like she's a movie, a music video director, mostly. But, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. The director, though, um, all of his directing roles have pretty much been hits, most of them. Um, He directed John Wick, first one. Um... He did Atomic Blonde, which was not that bad. Uh, Deadpool 2. And he got into the Fast and Furious franchise for Hobbs and Shaw. It's cool. So, Ooh, he did Nobody. Was he a producer in that one? I don't know. Just his Dude. movies, Nobody. And that Violent movie's... Night. That movie's so good. <laughs> Violent Night? No. Nobody. Oh. I haven't seen Violent Night. That would be cool. I heard it was good. Nobody? Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, that was a good one. An uncredited director on John Wick. That's interesting. Yeah. The Fall Guy is one I really am excited to watch. Also. It's his next movie. It's got Ryan Gosling and Aaron Taylor Johnson in it. Um, Alright. Well, you guys have anything else to say? Ooh, I won... I have a new thing I want to do. What do you guys think the movie did best? And what do you think the movie did the worst? Like the worst part. Best succeeded at and most failed at. Hmm. Um, as far as best goes, um, I'd have to go back again to the writing of it. Um, the whole... How the complexity of it was. Because it wasn't overly complex. Um... And again, it was well written enough to to make you just sit down and enjoy it. I think was, I think my the, key, the highlight of the movie. As far as worst, I'd say Joey King. Okay, you'd say what? Joey King. Well, dang, dude. <laughs> well, it kind of so goes. Cast. Yeah, casting. Yeah, uh, which. Uh, one of the questions, which I was actually going to say until, but before um, Trey brought that up, um, I was going to say, what what would you guys change? Not necessarily change to, but either, either change or remove, which we'll get to that question in a second. Your turn, Tyler. I think the script writers or script writing um, was probably my favorite or the best. 
And I think what they did worse or could improve on or what I would change is just make it a little bit more believable. Because, like, a lot of it was just, like, on the verge of, like, possibility, it seemed. You know? Yeah. Like, I could suspend my belief that this was actually... Or my disbelief that this would all be possible. Okay. What about you, Trey? Um, best I think is character interactions for me, or the or the characters themselves. I think they were all really strong characters. They were archetypes, maybe, but none of them were really tropes, except for Joey King. Because she's also my worst part, and it's not casting. Because the rest of the cast, I really, really like. I just don't think that she was the right person for this role. Yeah, she didn't make me believe the role or look forward to her coming up in the movie. And, and ironically, that's also not ironically. I don't know why I said that. That's also I would I would recast her. That was nothing I would change. I don't think Sorry, she's very king. I, don't, I just don't think she's a good actress, especially when compared to all these other people who killed it. They were all the right type of over the top. Like they, they all played their parts the right amounts. To where Tyler said we're just just the edge of believability. I don't I don't think she did that as as well. Yeah. But that's for me. Didn't um didn't the elder the the guy's dad yeah. Didn't he look a lot like um what's his name? Takamura from Cyberpunk. Yeah, he did. <laughs> like a lot. I wonder if he is like I wonder if he's like the model they used. When he came on screen, I was just like, what the hell? You know, that's why he looked so familiar. Now that you say that. Because when I saw this the first time, I had been playing Cyberpunk. And, and that makes sense to me. All right, why he looks so familiar when he came on screen the first time. He's been in quite a few things as well, though. Um, what is it? You've seen him past in a couple of different um, Marvel stuff. He's in The he was... Wolverine, as well as um, Endgame. Huh. I know he was. He played Scorpion in the Mortal Kombat movie. Uh, it looks like he did a role in Westworld. Um, so likely then season two, because they had the samurai world in season two. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I don't. I can't find anything confirming. <laughs> He's in Speed Racer. That's all I need to know. Oh, there you go. Yep. Here he comes, here comes Tracer. Maybe it's just the his hair. He looks like he he looks like Takamura. I'm with, I'm with you. Yeah. And I'm not I don't think we're being racist by saying he looks alike. Like it's uncanny. It's enough that there are other people saying that they thought of him. I uh Okay. Why would we be racist? We all liked him. Well, you're the one who... No, I'm, I won't throw you under the bus. No, Saying that all Asian people look, people look the same. To me? How does that make me racist? They probably well, I'm not think saying, a I'm not lot saying of... you said that. Oh. Yeah, I <laughs> definitely joke, don't believe that. The joke I was pulling from was when you thought that oh. <laughs> uh, Lemon was the guy from Sweet Tooth. Oh. <laughs> I, now I gotta know, was it really called Sweet Tooth? It was Sweet Tooth. Yeah. He was just like a big. I know who you're talking. Um, I can visualize him. Yeah, not um, all black people who are big. Nonso and Nosy is his name. That's true. Remember. It just they had a same like a really warm presence on screen. That's why I thought that. Because Nonso and Nosy also played the really shitty. He was really in the really shitty Artemis Fowl movie. Yes. He's been doing stuff a lot longer than than the other guy has. So the only other thing. Um, uh, Nonso that is in that I've recognized is Pan, the one with Hugh Jackman. That movie's bad. <laughs> it was. <laughs> that movie's bad. But, all right. Well, you guys, anything else for anybody to say? No. 
Um, Good. Good night. Okay. We'll just end it off with ratings then. Oh, uh, nine out of ten. Uh, I'd probably give it uh, nine. Nice. I kind of feel bad for wanting to give it an eight. <laughs> Don't. I was debating eight, but I really enjoyed it. They need yeah. to have more fun movies like this. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. That are more selfies for Brad Pitt. Well, I, I think it is more of those. I don't know. Not every you know. Not everything needs to be super deep. It can just be fun surface level stuff. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Hmm. It was deep enough to make it interesting. That's all I needed. Speaking of deep movies, is the Barbie movie out yet? No. No. It comes out the same day as Oppenheimer, which I know where I'll Ooh. be watching uh, watching uh, Barbie instead of Oppenheimer. Watching Barbieheimer. <laughs> I do want to watch both, but I think if I had to choose, I'd pick Barbie because it it looks more fun. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the trailers of either of those. I've only seen a couple I've of just, pictures. Yeah, I've seen the pictures and the outfits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, one one last thing. We don't have to talk about it. Just shout out to two of the characters that I noticed. noticed. Uh, Masioka, who is from Heroes, which was a really great show that I enjoyed with my dad. And then mm-hmm. uh, Karen Fukuhara, who is in The Boys. There you go. Shout out to you. Shout out. <laughs> oh, hey, before you guys go, do you remember when the surprise motherfucker guy shouted us out? That's the coolest thing that's yes. happened to this podcast ever. That is true. Yeah. I I remember that. I've made a, a, a poll of who said the best motherfucker because we watched um, uh, Tiger King. I said, yeah, the, the, the options was him. Um, his last name is King. I don't remember his first name right now. Um, it was a surprise motherfucker, and then it was uh, the Tiger King. He's like just a uh, motherfucker or something else. Or, and then it was just Samuel L. Jackson as motherfucker. <laughs> it's great. Mm, yeah, those are all good. Yep, all good motherfuckers. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, next time we are going to watch a show. Uh, that show yeah. is on Hulu. <laughs> it's called The Bear, which is, uh, again, just a TV show. So if you have a Hulu subscription, you can go ahead and watch it there. A um, couple episodes long, I think eight. I could be wrong. Oh, well, just watch it. Just watch it. While you're yeah, at it, it. Yeah, just watch it. Uh, while you're at it, go ahead and follow us on all of our social medias. You can find them at anchor.fm slash continue watching Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. We'd like to hear from you. We have heard from some people. So shout out to you people that are interacting with us. We'd like to hear from you. We'd like to hear more though. So do that. Okay. Love you. Okay. Bye. Bye everybody. See you. See ya.